Welcome to week 33. You could be feeling really tired by now, which isn't surprising considering how hard your body is working in the final weeks of pregnancy. You could also start experiencing Braxton Hicks at this stage. These are just practice contractions as your uterus starts to prepare for birth. Braxton Hicks are typically painless and you may not even notice them happening. If the contractions are noticeable and you can feel them or become more regular, then be sure to contact your midwife or hospital. This week's class is all about going deeper into our practice. I have prepared a really gentle practice, but we will hold our breath for longer periods, which will give your body the chance to sink deeper into poses and reap more benefits. For this class, you will need a bolster, a block and a belt, or you can use cushions and a belt um, or a scarf from home. As always, anyone with pelvic girdle pain, I will cue you for poses that might not feel great and will offer an alternative where possible. If you have sore wrists, then you can always pop them under a blanket to ease the pressure when we're on our hands and knees, or you can just take your hands into fists. Okay, we're gonna start in um, hero pose. So just take something to go beneath your hips um, to just elevate yourself and give yourself some support. But if you wanna sit cross-legged, that's totally fine. So just pop something underneath you, um, and make yourself comfortable. And then we're just gonna start with our hands on our bellies. You might wanna bring the fingers together and clasp them just underneath your belly and let them kind of, let your belly rest into your hands. And then closing down the eyes and starting just to withdraw your breath. So breathing in through your nose, long inhale, and then long exhale through your mouth. And we're gonna carry on doing this, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, deepening your breath each time. And this being the breath that we want you to be doing when you are in labor or having your C-section, just having nice, calm, rhythmic breaths. So long inhale, long exhale. And that will bring you into a calm and relaxed state, hopefully. And many hypnobirthing courses actually teach you that you should be um, taking breaths where you count you inhale on a count, you exhale on a count, but that is ridiculous. <laughs> you just breathe. So long inhale, long exhale, ignore the counting, because it can make you feel like you're breathing wrong. When you're just breathing, just breathe. Feeling your belly sinking into your hands, elbows nice and rested by your sides. Face is nice and relaxed, eyebrows relaxed, jaw relaxed, everything calm. And then start to blink your eyes open. And we're gonna take our right hand to the mat and extend the left arm up and over, looking through the left arm. And we're gonna hold here for five long inhales and five long exhales. So I'm gonna count you for this to help you. So. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. 
Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up, well done. Just shake your shoulders out, give your left shoulder a kind of a quick roll. And then we're gonna take our left hand to the mat, extend our right arm up and over, and do the same thing on the other side. So sending your breath into your side ribs here and relaxing your shoulder. Inhale for one, two, three, four, Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up. Shake out your arms. We've got blood flow going to your arms now. And we're just going to take some gentle neck rolls. So take your right ear to the right shoulder and then rolling your head all the way down to the left and up again. Inhale at the top and then exhale, rolling your shoulders all the way around, back to the right. Inhale and as you exhale, roll, deepening your stretch in your shoulders every time you go and then coming back round to the other side. So just a few more of these at your own pace. Warming up top of the spine. And then coming back to centre. So if you're in hero pose, we're going to come off our um, bolster or you can switch it around to the other side. So I'm going to turn mine to the side. Um, so, or you can take blocks to sit on if you want. Um, totally up to you. And we are just going to, I'm going to sit, I'm actually going to leave mine here so you can see me from the side. So coming to sit on a bolster or onto blocks and we're going to take um, easy pose but with our hips lifted. So tuck your feet underneath you and if you have pelvic girdle pain just keep your feet like this, okay? So just starting to rotate all the way around. So coming all the way forward, rocking on to your, almost onto your knees, and then coming all the way back up again. But this is a very, very, very gentle movement, just warming up the lumbar spine, breathing as you go. And back to centre, and then round the other way. So this is a really good position for optimal fetal positioning. This will help tip your pelvis forward, which helps get your baby into the right position for birth. And the reason that is, is because we make more room in our uterus for your baby to actually be able to move, which is quite important. And then coming back to centre. So I'll just put myself up again. Take your hands to your knees and we're going to do some just some nice gentle seated cat cows. So take an inhale as you exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, arch the lower back. And then exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin. Just a few more of these at your own pace. Just feeling your spine moving, nice and gentle. And you can, I'm just letting my hands kind of move up and down my legs as I go. So you don't need to keep your arms in like a static position and do this. You can kind of incorporate your arms into the movement which can be quite nice. And then coming back to centre. Extend your legs out in front of you. Flex the toes. Now this is where you want to grab your belt or your scarf, something that's gonna help you to um, take a leg extension. So we're gonna start with the left leg. So the right leg can kind of hang a bit, hang a bit loose and your toe, toes need to, don't need to be doing anything at this stage. We're gonna wrap the belt around the, just the um, sole of the foot, 
but on the padded bit just beneath your toes. And then just flex your toes back towards your face, tilt your pelvis forward, and then we're just gonna just very gently pull the belt or scarf, whatever you're using, very, very gently pull it towards you. Elbows are nice and loose by your side, so the tension here is really in the belt, that's where you really want it. And you should be feeling a